I didn't record the flight or anything like that, so I just wanna update you guys. So yeah, I'm back in London, my hometown, baby. <laughs> love you, baby. I love London, man. London is a. I think you know what? Honestly, every time I go away from this city, I hate this city when I live here. Yeah, I hate this city so much when I live here because it's a business city. It, you live here, you gotta make the work, you gotta make the money. All right, I get it, I do that. I, everybody does that. Everybody goes from nine like a robot, wakes up in the morning, you know, thinking about tomorrow, the next day, you know, thinking about the future. Yeah, you get stuck in that life. But then, you know, I get hard-headed sometimes and I'll say, you know what, I wanna get out of this place. Mind you, it's one of the greatest cities in the world, I'm not gonna lie, it's, there's a reason. London is famous around the world because look, just guys, look at this. I mean, this is the financial center of the world, right? So, uh, there's a lot of power here. Anyway, I'm just trying to figure it. it you know, uh, when I was in Lithuanian, oh yeah, I wanted to say this. When I was in Lithuanian airport, right? A coincidence happened, I just want to disclose it with anyone who's traveling through the Lithuanian airport. Coming back, going to the Lithuanian airport, they asked me whether I have a COVID-19 test again and whether I have been self-isolating for 14 days. Now, my answer to that question is obviously no. I've been going out and I was, you know, drinking. I mean, I didn't want to drink, but I eventually, you know, was like, I gave in because I was so bored. I drank, so uh, and I went out and I enjoyed my time, right? But then I said no. But then he was the the guy at the border control. He was, con he, you know, he was taking, he was, uh, you know, looking at my passport. He was like, mm, okay, you know what? You have to pay 250 euros of fine. Obviously, thinking about that, saying, uh, for what for? Uh, why do I have to pay 250 euros of fine? He said, basically, you haven't been self-isolating. I said to them, um, I'm not going to pay this fine, okay? I just want to go home now, and I'm going to go back to my country. He was like, so you have to pay the fine. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to pay the fine. What are you going to do? Are you going to put me in a prison? Because I'm just going home. Are you going to stop me from going home? And I kid you not, this guy, he made some phone calls looking proper professional. I don't, know, I don't know whether he was pretending or he was actually doing it. After five minutes of like, you know, phoning around, like playing with the phone, talking to the colleagues. He looked around, looked around, talking to colleagues, looking for some advice. He said, all right, go. Go for the door, please. I was like, is that it? I was like, what do you mean? Like, I think he was, you know what, not to think of it. I think in Lithuania, they like to trap tourists. They have a lot of scams there. Uh, I mean, one of my friends went to a strip club and he paid for a girl and the girl danced on him and took his wallet, you know. A lot of girls came to him and say, buy me a drink. There's a lot of scams that girls come to you and they want you to buy them a drink. And as soon as you buy them a bottle or something like that, they sort of disappear and go home and shake their boyfriends at home or something like that, I don't know. But it's really not nice, I felt really hostile there. And so I'm, I'm happy to be back in London. Woo! Uh, so yeah, I, mean, I think London is the most grateful city in the world. I'm so grateful to be able to live here in this, in this town, in this city. But then I do, I don't, I think it's, it's, again, I have to get out of it once in a while because it's very busy and it's very business center and business oriented and it's full of, it's the rat race, baby. It's the city where you come to get rich, where you have passions, if you have dreams, if you have, I don't know, if you want to make a big company, if you want to start your own business. Mind you, saying that, I do have to find out where I'm going and I have to catch the next train. Uh, I have to go to underground. And I can't carry this camera with me always forever, guys. So with that in mind, I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. And yeah, Lithuania, good experience, bad experience. I would never go back there. 100% I will never go back. And yeah. Enjoy the view of London, guys. 
Ciao. Alright guys, I just want to give you an update about what's happening right now. I just came from, I just came in to England to yesterday, and I went straight to the gym, um, you know. And today I pretty much I'm packing my stuff because I'm going to go to my university accommodation. And as you can see, my mom is helping me. She's uh, she's packing my stuff, so I'm gonna leave London. I just want to give you guys a tour of my house. If you want to see, this is the first floor. It goes from here to like. Wait, the living room is quite messy because we're packing all my stuff, right? So it's like. I mean, that stuff needs to dry still. So we gotta pack those stuff. That's my shirt right there. There. That's my shirt. Uh, I still need to put that away. These are my. All of this is. All of this is mine. So I need to put that in the car. Uh, upstairs, we've got like typical British house, right? The kitchen, no, like the kitchen is not the, it's the bathroom upstairs and two bedrooms. I don't want to go up there because my, you know, siblings are there, so I'm not going to go there. But uh, here is the garden. The garden's messy. It's my dog. Hey, Mona. How are you doing? Oh my god, I just love her so much. Come here. Right, yeah. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Yeah, she, she loves me a little bit. She loves me a little bit too much, guys. So I don't know. It hurts. It hurts. Ah! <sighs> all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. Oh, 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 oh. Jeez. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, right? Chill out, chill out, chill out. Sure, sure, sure. What, what do you want? What do you want? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So yeah, uh, that's my dog. It's garden there. That's where she lives in this shed. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you now. I'm gonna go to university. It's my last year. Oh, I'm gonna miss you too. Yeah, I'm gonna miss her so much, guys. Like she's, she's just, she's, she's, she's German Shepherd, you know. She, she loves being loved. She's like, all German Shepherds just want to be loved all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they give back so much to you. They're really quite addictive. It's like if, if I don't see her, it feels like I haven't seen. It's like, you know, it's like it feels like an actual breakup, honestly. But yeah. I'm rubbing her belly and she does that with her feet. Look. When I rub her belly she's like <laughs> She does that with her leg. <laughs> she's loving it, look at her. Who's a dog? Who's a good dog, huh? Who's a good doggy? Who's a good doggy? I have to go. 
have to go, you know what I said, I have to go, I have to, oh, she, see, she knows, she knows what I said, she knows that, she says like, don't go, you know, don't go, don't go, like, look at this, look at this, wow, she understands, like, when I say I have to go, she's like, don't go, no, I'm here, I'm here, please stay, oh, Hello. Good day. Good day. It's my mom. Yeah, she's gonna. Good anyway, I'll leave you there. Huh? I'll leave you there. I have to go. Bye, mom. Yeah, I'll miss you, Mona. Anyway. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna carry on with packing my stuff. Uh, I'll update you guys later, okay? I'll have to carry on with packing my stuff. See you guys later.